as a first time mom, preparing for having a baby, whether you're giving birth to the baby or having your baby in a different way, is something that you just cannot imagine. I'm Cindy Rubin. I am a breastfeeding medicine specialist and fourth trimester doc in the Chicago suburbs. And today we're going to talk about that kind of first time mom expectations. I think a lot of us see the perfect experiences on TV or in books and movies of the beautiful birth and everyone's healthy and the baby latches on right away if you were planning on breastfeeding and everything looks great and mom looks rested and everybody's good. And that's not usually the reality. So it's exhausting having a baby. And I think most people hear that and they're like, okay, okay, I know, I'll be fine. But I think for most people, it is more exhausting than anything that they've ever experienced. Even people who are sleep deprived have weird sleep because of their jobs or things like that. It's different. It is a baby needing to be dealt with in some way, fed, changed, whatever it may be, every two to three hours in those first days and weeks and months sometimes. And you can't say no. <laughs> you can have some relief from other people, which is actually a really important thing to enlist. But I think it's something that most people cannot even imagine. Breastfeeding can be very difficult. It can be painful. It shouldn't be painful persistently, but it can be. And we can just feel a lot of ways that we don't expect as well. We can expect to be just happy and joyful, but instead we can be sad. We can feel connected to our baby. Maybe we don't feel connected right away. We may be in a hospital, we may be home, we may have expected to be at home, but we end up delivering in a hospital. You know, everything may look very differently than what we had envisioned. And I think the best expectation to have going into this experience is that you just really have no idea what it's going to look like, and that's okay. It's probably not gonna look exactly like what you had predicted, and that's okay. You will roll with those punches, try to get people, services, your village, doulas, lactation people, relatives, night nanny, mother's helpers, all the people who you're gonna lean on in those first weeks, have them ready to go. But know that even expectations for those people, it doesn't always look the way you had hoped for it to. So I think being prepared to be unprepared and to have to get used to things that you weren't planning on it being that way, I think that's probably the best way to go into and be ready to roll with those punches and don't feel alone look for support. There's so many different ways to get your support. If you are going to be breastfeeding and you want to go in with some preparation and getting a prenatal lactation consultant or breastfeeding medicine specialist to go over things with you beforehand might help also with those expectations and how to make those first days go a little bit easier. So first of all, congratulations. And it's a very exciting time, but it's a challenging time. And I wish you the best and reach out if you need my services or other village people for the postnatal period of time. Have a great day.